it turns out that our functions are not so boring. They can potentially return other functions. And let's see how to use that. So here I will be executing this function. This function is divided into two parts. A first part where I am doing a general thing, which is not very useful. This is just for explaining the idea. In a real scenario, we'll probably do a much more complex thing here anyway. And the second part is the function that I will be returning. So if I run this and see what's inside my global environment, I see that my function is uh, defined. This is the function that I created. Now, an important thing with environments and variables in R. Functions in R create their own specific environment. So when this gets uh, executed, this will generate a specific environment where all these things will be living. They will be coexisting here. So that's why I will be able to access i equal to zero. Um, and that's why this function here, elements, that takes elements as a um, parameter, will be able to access elements because elements is being fed into this function and then it exists in the function. So let's see one example here. I'll be creating um, a function, I won't be creating a vector, which will be equal to run of two. So you can see that um, when I created the function, um, it seems that this part was not executed, which is great because I didn't want to. What was effectively created here was this uh, this first part. This first part um, is printing something. And by something, I mean the ls function. The ls function will print everything that exists in the environment where, where it is being called. So ls is being called uh, specifically from uh, this environment. Now, you can see that these are the three things that are living in this environment at this time. Elements, which was passed here, i and x. So uh, it is reasonable to expect that when I execute the function that I'm storing in a underscore two, I will be able to access element. So that's the central idea. So I can execute a two and I need to pass two parameters, a mean and a standard deviation in this case for a normal random uh, numbers. So pass zero and one. So here I get two numbers. An interesting thing, you can see that this got what well, is not appearing anymore. This was only executed when I created or instantiated this function. So let's try to do this again. A1, 0, let's say 0 0.98. Same thing. I am only getting this, uh, this result. I am not printing this again. This got executed only once. So that's super important. I can certainly define uh, other functions. A5 will be equal to run, in this case, 5. Now I get the same thing. Uh, this gets executed one, uh, once, and then A5, 0, 9. So you get the idea. We can use this to build other functions, and that gives us a very powerful approach when writing our code.